So I'm gonna show you guys something cool. This is a mock-up, right? You look at the two of them, the two structures, and I'll get better shots of it. Bear with me. I don't want to get out of the cool air-conditioned car at this point. So that's a mock-up. This shows what it would look like on this design. All glass with metal framing. Um, with these beautiful little fins on it. Check out the fins in there. The little, little air brakes or something like that. Not sure how, what the height of this structure would be. What it's limited to. That's two floors of it. And that's commercial. Look at the mirror, the mirror design. I think the mirror design or the glass is beautiful. Now this one has got a mock-up mock of a stone-ish looking and some glass. And this is more, you know, it's, it's more boring. But if you look at the details of it, and I say boring, because it, it, it yes, it's got some details in it, but it's, it's not really attractive. You, you see all the extra details they added? Look at the, uh, the vein down the middle, the separation compared to that one. Look at the metal there in the middle, and no metal on this design. They used that. Um, so you look at it and tell me what you think. I think this is a terrible design because it's going to cause issues with all that. All those cracks are going to be places where water is going to get behind it. This is going to be a maintenance pig. You're going to have to glaze it, you know, do all the ceiling of it and things like that. Whereas this guy, you're going to be limited on your ceiling, sealant. It's going to be an attractive structure. It's a mirror of the sky, uh, whatever the sky is at that time. It gives the appearance of light and brightness, if you will. I don't know the height, so you're going to have problems keeping the windows clean, perhaps. But you'd also have to clean these. This equals less maintenance, though. This is less maintenance. You do have the seams going down the middle, but that's going to be part of the glazing guys wrapping that up. Whereas this will be part of the glazing guys got, will be part of wrapping it up, literally, you know, sealing it. And then you also have the, uh, the, uh, the, the guys putting on the panels, exterior walls, that you got to deal with. Did they also seal it properly, anchoring these panels? It's just, you know, and look around. Let's look around where it's located. You see there's nothing else around it like that. So that you can make your own statement. And is that the statement you want to make? It's kind of traditional. It's, it's not me. You hear my whining in my voice, if you will. It's just, you know, it's just, Blah. You know, it's nothing exciting. Almost looks like a federal building or something like that. You know, it doesn't have any excitement to it. Now let's scroll around to this side of it. If you scoot to this side of it, you see the the two corners of it. Now let's look at this corner. This has got a more of a decorative detail to it. Look at the uh, the overhang. Again, though, you're going to have water up on that shelf, on the top shelf there. You're going to deal with. How's it, does it wrap around and start working its way down back to the glass and creating weird stains? I'm not into that detail. I'm not into this whole detail of that one. But I wanted to share the mock-up. You can see it's, it's uh, they just put it on a steel frame. And that costs quite a few dollars to make, guys. This is not, this is not on the house. That's a beautiful detail that someone's coughed up the money to, to for visualiz visualization. And as you look around... There's all the panels. Apparently they made their decision. Which one will it be? Will it be a combination of both? I do wonder. We'll watch this. Any updates?